Hello, my dear apprentices of mathematics. This is your coach, Mr. Magno, back in business again. Okay, so we're looking at module one, lesson seven. We already looked at vocabulary. Now, remember, this is going to be part two. So let's write this down. This is going to be part two. Part two. Okay. Now, let me just carry this over here. And let's look at the, we are going to be rounding numbers. What are we going to be doing? Rounding numbers. That's exactly right. So it says right here, round a given number, a, a given decimal to any, any place using place value understanding. And we're going to use also the vertical line. So we're going to have to use two tools this time to make this uh, a successful lesson. So let's look now. Here we have the problem. And we're going to look at the request. What is it that they're asking us? That's the request. Fill in, let me change the color here, I think. Fill in the table. So we gotta fill in this table first. And then round to the given place. So we're gonna round in the table. Then it says to label the number lines to show the work. So that's gonna be step one. And from here, we're gonna go to step two, which is gonna be label the tables. Circle the rounded numbers. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. Okay, now let's look at the number that we need to round is 3.1. So we're going to write it here, 3.1. And you want us to round it to the nearest, to the to tenths. Okay. So how many tenths, how many tenths will it be? Um, uh, the number 3.1 is between two numbers, remember? So 3.1 is between 0 and 10. Remember, we're rounding to 10. So we have to place a 10 in there. Remember the vocabulary. What's the midpoint between zero and 10? And the midpoint between those two is five. Now we can clearly say, look at now, that 3.5 will be somewhere here, okay? So now the question is, is 3.5 closer to zero or closer to 10? And as you can see, because of the size of the air, the length of the arrows, the when we round 3.3 and 1 tenth to the tenth place, we're going to round to the zero. Okay? Now we're going to round to the tenth. So what's going to happen now, these three ones are going to become 30 tenths. So that means we're going to place it right here, and that's going to become 31 tenths. Okay? <clears throat> now, if this is 31 tenths, okay, 31 tenths, tenths is between 30 and 40 tenths. Now, where is 31? 31, let me use a different color, 31 should be in here. And now, where is the midpoint? Your midpoint should be 35 right here. Now, as you can see, 31 is closer to 30, but it's not closer to 40. So now we can we can conclude that 31 is going to be rounded to 30, 30 tenths, okay? Now, let's do the next part. So now if we're, we're going to convert those tenths, the 3.1 into hundredths, that means we have to bring this over here, and that's going to be times 10 is going to be, become 300, 310 hundredths. Okay, knowing that this is 310 hundredths, we can say that that number is between 300 and 400. And the midpoint between those two will be 350, as you can see, okay? Now, we have to locate the number that we're working with, which is 310. So 310 will be somewhere in this vicinity. Sorry, my zeros look like sixes. So now we can conclude that 310 is closer to 300 and is not closer to 400. So we're gonna round to 300. And this is how you're gonna be working, you're gonna be working on rounding numbers. And you're gonna be using those, those, um, those tools, the, the vertical arrows, the very vertical number lines and your place value chart. Let's do one more problem. And let's see, um, you know what? We're gonna skip that one next problem. I'm going to upload this one the way it is. 
please rewind this um, this video if you need reassurance on any of these parts. Make sure you repeat it and pause it where you need it. It is important that you pause and repeat where you need it. This is part two of Module 1, Lesson 7. Your coach, Mr. Mango, is signing out.